In this lesson, we shall solve this particular geometry question, and uh, we shall spend time looking at how best uh, geometry questions of this nature can be done, but also geometry questions that pertain um, circles and chords, okay, and tangents as well. And uh, we shall actually proceed. For instance, in the sketch below, PQRS is a slightly quadrilateral. So this PQRS is a slightly quadrilateral. And uh, right. So we have line AB is a tangent to the circle at point S. So line AB is a tangent to the circle at point S. Yeah, it is a tangent point S. PQ equals QR. PQ equals QR. PR is SR. PR is PR is SR. PQ is SR. PQ is right. Um is parallel to SR. Okay, we have parallel sides there. Like BSR, the angle BSR is X. Right, this angle BSR, this angle here is X. Is X. Determine giving reasons five angles that are equal to BSR. Okay, so there are five angles that are equal to BSR. In other words, there are five angles that are equal to X. And let us spend some time on that and, and, and analyze this here. Okay, yeah, there are more uh, questions I would have loved to do here, but uh, let's see how well we can actually proceed uh, to solve these particular problems here today. Right, so we continue, we continue to solve uh, these particular questions here. Okay, now there's uh, the Tenko theorem. That says the angle between the tangent to a circle and the chord equals the one in the alternate segment. So now there's an angle subtended by this chord. Um, this chord subtends an angle here. So this chord here subtends an angle. So this angle is also X. So we can also say the angle P2, for example, is X. Why? Because of the 10 chord theorem. Next question. Right. So in the next question, we shall look at the fact that so. This is uh, the tangent, right? So it's going to be the tangent um, AB, tangent AB, chord, um, tangent AB and chord SR. Okay, so obviously you can see that there's an angle between the tangent to a second chord equals the one in the alternate segment. Now, next, okay, this one is already, is, is, is X already. But what else can we actually be able to deduce at this point? Anything else that we can deduce? Like um, we can analyze some of these like PQ equals QR. If PQ equals QR, what else are we able to see there? But also uh, if PR, if PR is equal to SR, okay? So this is equal to this. So this triangle is called isosceles, so that now the base angles are equal, so this is X. So we have also that the angle is two equals X. Why? We then say um, that you can say PR is equal to SR uh, there, okay? And PR equals SR given. Or you can say, um, at this point, uh, you can say the um, angles opposite equal sides. So angles opposite equal sides are themselves equal, right? So angles opposite equal sides are themselves equal so that indeed you have that. Okay, uh, this was just, it went off because of the thing, because of the recording of the previous discussion. Okay. Now that is something that is is therefore uh, very important there. We continue. We continue. Right. So we are looking at five, three point four point two. Right. So 
okay? We're saying S2 is also X, which, and we say angles opposite equal sides, okay? Very popular to say angles opposite, opposite equal, angles opposite equal sides, okay? Right, so what else uh, are we able to deduce here? Uh, the angle P1, the angle P1 is equal to X. Okay, we know that the angle P1 equals X, Y. You see, the angle P1 equals X because you already know that this one is part of this one and this. So P1 equals X. Those are alternate angles. Alternate angles because uh, APQ is parallel to SR. APQ is parallel to SR. Okay, this is parallel to this. So we have alternate angles, angles in Z. But also the angle QRS. The angle QRS. The angle QRS is X. The angle QRS is X. Right, because um, of the exterior angle, this is equal to this. Okay, there is a, there's a theorem about, about the exterior angle of a slightly quad. Okay, so if you have this, Something like that. This angle here is equal to this angle here, and this angle here equals this angle here. So the exterior angle of a central quad equals the interior opposite angle. So exterior angle of cyclic quad. Exterior angle of cyclic quad. So the exterior angle of cyclic quad equals the interior opposite angle. So once again, if you have this, is the theorem that says. It did not it did not go through the other side, but uh what is very important is therefore um if you have this right, so this is a bit too high. Let me lower it a little bit just to demonstrate the power of the theorem here. So you have this here, you have this, you have this here, and you have this. So this angle here is equal to this angle. So the exterior angle of the side quad equals the interior opposite angle. Okay, so that this angle X is equal to this one here. Next, the angle A is also X. This angle is also X. Because if you, this is part of this, the, the angles, if, if this is part of this, then this angle equals this, and those are called corresponding angles. So corresponding angles, APQ is part of SR. Okay, so we found one, two, three, four, five. We've given five angles that are equal to angle BSR. An angle BSR is X. Next question. 3.4.2, want to calculate the value of S1 in terms of X? S1 in terms of X, as well as the value of two other angles that are equal to S1. Right, let us find this. Sorry, yeah, you know, the couple of things we found this one is X. We found this one is X. We found that one is X. Right, so we found lots of the X angles. Found lots of the X angles. Okay, so um, we found this one is X. See what else we've been able to, to get here. Um, X, X, see if we have labeled X. And also this one is X because of the base angles. Um, let's see what else. This X here. Right, so we've seen before that if that is the case here, 
um, you have therefore that the P1 is X and then the P2 is X Right, so you have exactly that there in the that is as well x. Okay, right, so now we need to find therefore the angle S1 in terms of x. So the angle S1 in terms of x is very easy because these are adjacent angles on a straight line, so um. To find the angle S1 in terms of X, as well as the value of two other angles that are equal to S1. Right, so obviously this is this plus that plus that. So you have S1 plus S2 plus S3 is equal to 180 degrees. And these are um, angles on a straight line. Right, so these would be angles on straight line. Okay, so yeah, it's 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 S one, S two, S three. So you have S one plus what is S two? S two is X plus X, which is one hundred and eighty degrees minus two X. So yeah, this S one is actually one hundred and eighty degrees minus two X. So calculate the, the value of S1 in terms of X as well as the value of two other angles that are equal to S1. So what would, uh, this is a tangent, so um, the angle is obtained by this chord and this chord subtends the angle R1. So uh, immediately we're able to see that the angle R1 is actually equal to S1. So we're able to see that the angle R1 is S1 and it is the Tenko theorem, goodness me. Okay. So R1 is S1. Okay. What else are we able to achieve? Because obviously this one is, is doing this. So there's P3. So also angle P3 is equal to the angle S1. Why there are alternate angles? Why? Because AQ is parallel to SR. Okay. Okay, we have we have we have a lot of that. Okay, um, oh, what else? Uh, so yeah, we found uh, two other angles, so R one and P three that are both equal to S one. So we found two other angles equal to S one. Then the last question is prove that P S is equal to Q R. Prove that P S. is QR. Prove that PS is QR. Prove that PS is QR. Obviously, I mean, to prove that PS is QR, the couple of uh, things we need to consider here at this point. So we know that the angle R1 is equal to is equal to the angle P3. The angle R1 is equal to the angle P3. And why is the angle R1 equals the angle P3? Uh, obviously, there are alternate angles there. They are alternate angles because of the parallel lines. So these are alternate angles because PQ is parallel to SR and this is given. Okay, if angle R1 is equal to P3, okay, the alternate angles, this is parallel to this, okay.
we have PS. PS is equal to QR. We have PS is equal to QR. Okay, if we're able to see that therefore this is equal to this, then we can be able to see that PS is equal to QR. Sorry, we this is true because equal angles, equal angles uh, subtend equal codes. Equal angles subtend equal codes. Now let's look at this, and uh, there are many ways to prove this, but uh, equal angles subtend equal equal codes. Okay, yeah, this would be true. Uh, at this point, um, about these cyclic quads here. This will be true at this point about the cyclic quad. That, uh, so, yeah, you have done uh, some questions on this. But also, I mean, there are some results you need to know about the cyclic quads that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. So if this is a cyclic quad like this, then the opposite angles are supplementary, so that if you have a cyclic quad like this, you have PQ... RS, you would have that angle P plus angle R is 180 degrees. And uh, these are the opposite angles of cyclic quad. And obviously, the opposite angles of cyclic quad are themselves supplementary there. And obviously, we have the exterior angle, like in this case. Um, you have uh, this, sir, and this, and that. So this angle is equal to this angle here. The exit angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. Okay. Yeah, any question? I would like to do more, but yeah, I'm sure that we will spend, we will spare time, we'll get time and do more of this. Um, and practice more, because uh, the best way to do this is to do exam questions, past questions, and you can see exactly how these things are asked. Uh, we need to just spend a bit more time because this would be. See, doesn't this was the end of the paper? <laughs> That's the end of the paper where these things were said. Uh, but I would have obviously like to do more, but we shall make time available and do more and more of these to make sure you can practice these because they can be a little bit tricky. But they're not only that grade eleven, but they're also that metric. Okay. Any question, Tando? I know, sir. I think I'm good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but we'll spend, we'll get more time and do like lots of exam questions. Okay, so that so that you can like develop the ability and the skill to solve any question. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Tando. From us, um, it was interesting having a discussion tonight. I'm gonna make these videos available uh on the WhatsApp groups tonight. I'm just gonna be loading them now and and so on. And I'm sure that on the WhatsApp group, you'll see them and you'll think about this. I wish, I, I wanted to do a lot of paper two today, but yeah, this other student came to me and told me they're writing paper one. That is why I started, I started with paper one because I wanted to do a lot of geometry and other things, but the student said they're writing paper one tomorrow. Okay, I know that you have done paper one already, so I then thought, okay, we can do the paper two afterwards. Yeah, but yeah, anyhow. Um, there's always there's always a way out of the situation. I'm sure that you're gonna be fine, but um, uh, yeah, we'll 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 spend more time doing paper two. So yeah, time is we'll make more time available. Okay. Thanks, thanks, Tando, and have a good evening, and all the best to you for tomorrow. <laughs> all the best. Okay. Thanks, Tando, and goodbye to you. Good night, sir. Good night, Tando.